People looking for a job with the state of Michigan will not have to get a drug test for marijuana before they're hired. Today, the Michigan Civil Service Commission did away with its long-standing rule. News 10's Riley Connell is in studio now to tell us more about what this change means. And after a month-long public comment period, the commission members voted unanimously to get rid of pre-employment marijuana drug testing. Though some members remain cautious, others tell me changing the rule just makes sense. When it comes to working for the state, a positive drug test has always meant automatic disqualification for the job. But that's no longer the case. And so what we did today is we made a move to treat marijuana, recreational use of marijuana, just like alcohol. The Michigan Civil Service Commission cast a unanimous vote to get rid of pre-employment marijuana drug testing for state jobs. It's a change that makes sense to Commission Chair Jace Bolger. That's why I drew the comparison of if somebody overindulges in alcohol on Friday night, they shouldn't do it. I don't think that they should be getting high on Friday night, but Monday morning uh, when they come to work, they're likely not on the influence of either, and so we're going to treat them the same. The commission's amendment also means those who were previously denied employment because of a failed test can reapply without any wait period. Although he voted for the change, Commissioner Jeff Steffel says it brings up valid concerns about employee performance. I don't care if someone uses marijuana. I don't care about many of the social issues out there, live and let live. I do care about performance of state government. And I would like us to continue testing for marijuana because in three or four years, if we find there's a problem, then maybe we can make changes. Pre-employment marijuana testing will still be necessary for some state jobs, including law enforcement, health care providers, and any employee operating heavy machinery. The Michigan Association of Governmental Employees says it agrees with the regulation change and believes it will help recruit more state workers. Many of the current state employees that I spoke with off camera tell me they see this change as something positive and that it falls in line with the state legalization of marijuana in 2018. The commission's change will take effect October 1st.